example, if you're an employee and you want to be an entrepreneur or a business owner, you don't hang out with employees. You get some business owner friends to hang out with. Buckle up. It's the Insurance Dudes Podcast. What are some common misconceptions of this process? Mm, great question. So one misconception is people will hear charitable gifting of real estate and they'll say, oh yeah, we don't take real estate. We tried that 10 years ago. It didn't work. Or we heard XYZ story and it, and it didn't work. We're, we're scared of that. We're, we're just completely shut down to that. So what we want people to know is all those stories are true. There have been all kinds of reasons why nonprofits shouldn't be taking real estate. So the message to get across here is any of those 1.3 million nonprofits who want to benefit from real estate the way that we do it with a specialized nonprofit, a third party, they have zero risk. They have no money out of pocket. They never take title. They only put their hand out and say thank you when the check comes their way from the proceeds. So that's one misconception is that people get hung up on old fashioned stories that are true, but completely irrelevant in this conversation. Mm. What about from the donor side? So when the donor gifts this property, are, is does it, and let's say it they owe the mortgage on it is half of what the value of the property is. When does that tax benefit hit their books? Is it in at the moment they gift it or is it after it sells? Great question. So donation of real estate is a two-step process. So let's say, for example, this person that you're talking about comes to the table and wants to donate that real estate. And they talk to our specialized nonprofit, get their net sheet and figure out it's the right thing to do. Let's say they donate it on December 31st. December 31st, their mortgage is paid off. They are taken off the title. They get their tax deduction. That is the charitable gift. It was gifted to a nonprofit, in this case, a specialized nonprofit. The donor got their tax deduction in 2021. Now, specialized nonprofit takes that piece of property. They own it now. They list it with the real estate agent. And now it doesn't close until February or April next year. That's the second step. The second step is the charitable funding. So the tax benefit happened for the donor the minute they donated it on December 31st. And then the nonprofits are getting funded two months later when it closes and goes through escrow. And now the proceeds are in hand to be able to give to the nonprofit world. All great questions. And we teach all of this in something that we call the charitable real estate specialist class. And okay. we do it live the third Tuesday of the month. We're creating it in an evergreen so people can take it anytime they want. Oh, cool. The class was created originally to certify real estate agents because there are 2 million realtors in this country. And the goal in the beginning was to certify 1% of them to know how charitable gifting of real estate works. But what we've found is that half the people that come to the class are insurance, mortgage, financial service folks, nonprofits, fundraisers, visionary people who know that the system is broken, real estate is hot, fundraising is not, nonprofits are struggling for cash, donors need more options and opportunity to be able to give smarter, real estate agents want to build their business around purpose and social responsibility. So that's why we've created the class. And that's where we really get in weeds of all the details of this. What's the uh, address for that class to sign up? Sure. So the name of our organization is The Real Agents of Change. So our website is therock.com, spelled R-A-O-C, as in Real Agents of Change. So therock.com forward slash VIP will get your listeners a free seat in the class. The class is free. And then, yay, I have a book coming out <laughs> by the end of the year called Legacy Listings, Real Estate for Real Change. And when they go to the website, they can also go to therock.com forward slash book and get the first chapter of the book for free. Oh, is oh, that super cool? Is this the book you mentioned before? Or is this a separate book? 
Well, I actually have a book that I wrote five years ago called Mingle to Millions, the art and science of building business relationships. And um, when I first learned about charitable gifting of real estate, I thought that Mingle to Millions had had its day and, and that that was kind of in the past. But one of the things I talk about in Mingle to Millions is the difference between networking and net webbing. So our definition of that is networking waste time with random activity. You show up at an event, you throw a bunch of cards out and you pray something happens. Net webbing is planned strategy. And we talk about how there's the same archetypes you meet over and over. You meet the skunk who is spraying those business cards to everyone, <laughs> spraying and praying something will happen. You meet, you meet the squirrel. And the squirrels are taking cards from everybody. And this could be the same thing on Zoom. It's the same analogy, given information, taking information. There are the sharks in the room that are, you know, just looking for their next prey, want somebody to try their product, join their business or sign their contract. So in the book, we talk about instead of being a skunk, a squirrel or a shark, what if you become a spider and have very sophisticated process of creating connections that create a net web so that when you have a web, all that you want, just like a spider comes to you. And Mm -hmm. so with this analogy of the net web, when we talk about charitable gifting of real estate, it is the most sophisticated net web ever because we can now go out and talk to people about a hot topic that they want to know about that no one else in our industry or our marketplace is talking about. It's a great way to create those connections, create those webs so that all that you want comes to you. That's exactly why I'm being interviewed here today. You guys sought me out and wanted me to come on and be with you because it's an interesting hot topic. And we do the same thing with with our realtors and our insurance friends and our financial advisors. It's a great way to get the foot in the door of the high net worth folks that we want to do business with. Right. Love it. I love that concept. (laughs) The squirrel. It's so true. Just collecting those cards. So funny. Cool. Well, Well, I actually, um, since the book came out, I I added one other S, which is the sloth. Oh boy. So we, we all know the sloth. If it's on zoom, they're the ones with their cameras off. (laughs) <laughs> you know, and they're just kind of yeah. hiding out in the dark, kind of observing what everybody else is doing. So if we don't want to be a skunk, a squirrel, a shark or a sloth, let's be a spider and actually talk about something interesting. And that's uh-huh. of value to people. Yeah. I think the sloth also it. waits until after and then says, hey, do you have a couple of minutes after the call so that we can <laughs> yeah. so I could ask some questions? And then you're like, no, this is the Q&A right here. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So true. It's funny. So, Cami, and I'm sure it's going to be the same for real estate agents as insurance agents, but what would you say is the number one piece of advice that you would give any agent in general uh, going into 2022? Well, my advice always goes back to change your playgrounds and your playmates. Who are you hanging out mm. with? Who are you getting your advice from? So, for example, if you're an employee and you want to be an entrepreneur or a business owner, you don't hang out with employees. You get some business owner friends to hang out with. If you want to be, in my case, sober, you don't go hang out in a bar with a bunch of people drinking. You hang out with people who live a sober life and can teach you how to do that. And it's the same thing, you know, here in business. If you want to be a successful business person, what are you consuming? What are you listening to? Who are you hanging out with? especially listening to podcasts like yours, you know, having experts that are coming on your show. And so instead of listening to the news or listening to music like Run DMC and the Fat Boys, uh, (laughs) you can actually listen to podcasts like what you guys are doing. I'm a firm believer in you are a culmination of the five people you hang out with, whether that's physically or virtually, you know, These days, people can say, well, you know, with the pandemic, I'm not hanging out with anybody. Well, that's not true. You're hanging out with people all the time. And actually, now we have an even better opportunity to hang out with quality folks like you guys. You know, Uh normally, if it was just regular life, there wouldn't be so many great podcasts and great experts to hang out with. So that's why I love to interview and be interviewed. It's a great time to pick the brains of, as a matter of fact, 
that's my piece of advice. Start a podcast so that you can interview people and meet the best. <laughs> yes. Love I it. just wrote an article about Love starting it. a podcast. I mean, it's it just take action. Yep. It's, it's the best way to get to know really, really cool people and uh, interact with experts in, in all the different subjects. So love it. And I'd love to acknowledge you uh, for being sober. That's incredible. And it's an incredible feat. That, how many years has it been? Well, thank you for that. I, I actually have seven years now. But at one point I had nine and then I got married and I had a glass of wine on my honeymoon and that set me off for another four years of sneaking and drinking and misery. So I now have seven years of sobriety. Alcoholism is a disease. And so, yep. you know, as we say in the program, for those who have it, no explanation is needed. And for those who don't have it, no explanation can be given. But, um, right. you know, once again, if you're out there listening to this and you're struggling with anything, find someone who's already overcome that struggle whether it's struggling in business, whether it's struggling with cocaine or alcohol or shopping or gambling or too much porn, whatever it is, find somebody who's gotten over it and spend a little bit of time with them. They can help yep. you. hundred percent with the people that you hang out with, right? Like you, if you can't stop drinking, I mean, then that was, I have six years and I, I had to, six or seven. yeah, I had to end the friendships. It became clear they weren't really friendships. It was just drinking buddies, right? But it did some relationships that, you know, it was really hard and they were super angry, but uh, it was the only thing that could be done because you can't be around that. I appreciate you delving into this a little bit deeper because there is somebody listening to this right now yeah. who needs to know, you know what, there is life after booze. I remember when I was, I mean, I started drinking when I was 12, 13 years old. I was going in bars when I was 13 with a fake ID and I always hung out with people that drank. It was just a daily. That's what yep. life was like. And when I first wanted to get sober, I stayed drinking for an extra year or two because I just couldn't bring myself to go to a church basement. I was like, oh, my God, my life's going to be over. <laughs> like, what am I going to do without drinking? But you know what? The fact is my life started when I quit drinking yeah. because I wasn't sitting 100%. around on a bar stool talking about stuff. I was actually out <laughs> doing. So as a matter of fact, you know, when you said a skydiving, a guy that I met in the program, he uh -huh. and I were sober together and we, we went and did uh, accelerated free fall because we were wow. finally able to go do something that we had only talked about sitting on a right. bar stool years before. So, yeah. yeah. It's amazing the amount of inaction that occurs when, you know, you're in the throes of drinking versus you talk, it's all talk, right? Just all it's talk, all talk. Right? and yeah. nothing, nothing ever happens. You never make any progress. And then as soon as you take that away and get through that, the real challenging part, it's like, boom. I mean, it's amazing how many folks in that are entrepreneurs who have overcome that and now are just, you know, on fire because I think that. Well, when you we think have, about it, yeah. think about all the time that we spent plotting and planning <laughs> right. and scheming our dreams. <laughs> And hiding yep. it and hiding yep. the bottles and, and keeping up with when does the liquor store open and being at a, at a party and hiding how many drinks you'd had. And just, I mean, so much brain power went yeah. into mm. being an alcoholic and hiding Very resourceful. It. And it just, you know, <laughs> right? All of a sudden, now we've got hours and hours in the day. We can actually build a business and be a good person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yep. it's amazing. Wow. That's so funny. When Craig and I met, we didn't know that we both didn't drink. And, and after a while, we found that out. And uh, it was a common connection. And it's so funny. Most Just like you said, where life doesn't start until you stop, our lives like dramatically got better and has dramatically increased exponentially, exponentially. since then. Yeah. So, yeah, game changer. Ooh, that's, a, that's a great name of a podcast. Life doesn't start until you stop. Good name Let's of do it. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Um, Super cool, Cammy. So Cammy, what's the best way? Uh, I know you said it before, but let's let's just dive through a couple ways to to get in contact and and uh, take the class. Other the names of the books. Give us all the details. Sure, we have a, a lot of action over on our Facebook group. So the Real okay. Agents of Change. There's a page for that. There's a, a group on Facebook. CammyBaker.com, TheRock.com. I even throw my cell phone number out. I've been saying for years, I'm real, I'm raw, I'm relatable, and I'm reachable. 
603-785-2598. It blows my mind when I meet somebody in business that doesn't have their phone number on their business card or their website. Why are you hiding from people? Be seen and be heard, I said. I love it. <laughs> well, and you have the power and the resource now to take advantage and focus on all the different things, you know? So, well, cool. Super cool. Oh, the names of the books. Oh, so my first book was um, Mingle to Millions, The Art and Science yes. of Building uh, Business Relationships. Okay. And the new book is uh, Legacy Listings, Real Estate for Real Change. And we also have created National List a Legacy Listing Month in April. So we'll be promoting that. It's basically a public awareness to let people know, look, you don't have to struggle, nonprofits and donors. We know that you're limited on cash. You don't have to come from your 3% cash pocket. You can give from your wealth bucket of real estate and real estate agents. Yes. You get paid a full commission to help people give real estate away. It's happening every day and we want to pay you to help us do it. So that's, that's our mission. That's fantastic. It sounds like a, a really great opportunity for people to get in and go narrow and deep, right? Just focus on, on something that could really, I mean, create a lot of change and impact the world. I love well, it. When you, when you think about it, even for our, insurance friends no one in your marketplace knows anything about this yet our goal is by 2025 there will be charitable real estate divisions in every city and charitable real estate specialists that focus on veterans domestic violence animals children's issues churches universities etc but if you're the insurance person who is talking in the marketplace about helping all the nonprofits not just one or two or three in your marketplace, but letting people know, look, there are resources for nonprofits to get funded by hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars with no fundraiser. That's an interesting hmm. conversation. Yeah. That's a way to stand out. That's a way to build those relationships with people that are introducing you around. They'll introduce you to nonprofits and fundraisers and realtors and high net worth individuals and people with property that need insurance and just all that stuff. Yeah. Fantastic. Super cool. It's the web. Love it. Create the web. <laughs> Net webbing. Net web. Yep. <laughs> well, Cammy, so great to have you on. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we appreciate you, you being here and really good to meet you. And congratulations on your uh, sobriety. Yep. Well, thank you for having me. And uh, there's been a little bit of a lag on my end. That's why I kind of stayed as quiet as I could. But uh, I, I hope that the interview came out. And, and if one person gets something good from this, whether it's a nonprofit that gets funded by the millions or whether it's one person who puts the plug in the jug, then it was all worth it. There we go. Love it. Thank you so much, Gammy. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, right 100,000 in premium, off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will – it's live, and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm. Super awesome. Mm. I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520 Two one four two two one nine. That's five two zero two one four two two one nine. Nice. I'm Craig. Are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure. Live. I'm into it too. It's going to be well, awesome, and it's a it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content, and free. Um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator. Sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents, this is it. It's the best texting 
community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's okay. 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Hey, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.